in the early morning hours. I got two clusters in my wildland pack. Preparations were already underway at the McLean Black Lake Fire Department in Thurston County. Uh, we got the call yesterday morning uh, and it takes us about a day to put all the paperwork together. To fire Chief Steve North says time is of the essence as crews prepare to leave for fire torn California. They have to bring everything with them. Equipment, supplies, and the essentials to sleep outside if needed. All before a 28-hour drive. So it's, uh, it's quite cramped quarters in that fire truck as it's driving down I-5. Nearby. It burns fast and it burns hot down there for those guys. Dave McDaniel is prepping South Puget Sound Strike Team number three from several King County departments for the same trip. He worries about what they'll find when they arrive. It looks like it's a fast moving fire taking out a lot of structures. Um, so it's just going to, unfortunately, it's going to be a lot of devastation for the folks down there. Well, based on last year, I mean, we saw a lot of devastation last year. I mean, stuff that we had never, never seen before. I mean, neighbor, entire neighborhoods wiped out. And, and looking at the news last night, I anticipate we're going to see a lot of that, that same type of thing this year. But he says this aid from Washington is an important part of fighting wildfires. We've had times where California firefighters have come up and helped us too. So it, it really does give an opportunity to, for the states to help each other out. It's a long road to get there for both teams. But the crews are much needed and happy to make the trip. We're glad to go down and help when we can. Michael Crow, King 5 News. Now, altogether, emergency management is sending 93 Washington firefighters. The Washington DNR also said it's deploying an additional 106 firefighters and 20 engines.